performance from the girls. We were so, so close. Yeah, look, um, nil-nil at the end of the day against a team who were ranked at least 10 places above us in the rankings, a team who are now going to um, a major championship final. For us to compete and compete well against that level has been fantastic. You know, we've come out of a group where we've been playing teams in and around us rankings-wise. Those teams have struggled today against teams around 20 to 30 ranked in the world. We haven't, which is great. You know, the other teams have got at least three goals done in them today. We've managed to cope against team a team that is on paper a stronger stronger outfit than us right now. But you know the other positive, I put six young players into that team today, and the performance was top notch. So it's great for the future as well. And the next question there is from when Thomas and Emma buy number first caps today. Yeah, first caps for those two, which I hope they enjoyed and they played very very well, and they've earned them. But the other one is obviously Amina, a 15 year old player for us who's. That was actually a second cap because she came on earlier in the tournament and great performance from the three of them. You know, it's been a great performance from every single person in the squad uh, this week and they've all played their part and uh, onwards and upwards for the next uh, lot of games we have coming up in April. And credit when credit's due, we've just held Scotland who've qualified for this year's Women's Euro Tournament in England. Yeah, it's, you know, four games in a, a four game tournament within, what was it, 10 days. Physically, it's a challenge. You know, our girls aren't professionals, not all of them. A small chunk of ours are professionals. You look across the other team, a big chunk of theirs are professional. I think pretty much the whole squad for Scotland now are professional players. Um, so you take that into account. Our girls are working or they're studying full time and they're competing at this level. So going forward, you know, this is a start. 15 year olds, 16 year olds on the pitch today with some obviously very experienced and uh, capable older players but that mix is working well for us now we've just got to make sure not only are we hard to beat but we're actually coming off with three points we are hard to beat in four games we've had one goal scored against us which you know from an international football perspective is fantastic whether it's male or female football that's that's great for us we finished sixth in the Cyprus Cup this year and we did last year. I know there's more teams entered this year, but how far have we come in one year? Yeah, look, the competition's bigger this year, so we've actually finished six out of 12. Last year we finished six out of eight, so there's actually quite a bit of a big improvement there. But with regards to the squad, uh, we're miles and miles further uh, forwards to where we were last year. And I think um, you can see behind me the enthusiasm with the girls. You know, They want to achieve something. They want to achieve what Scotland have achieved and go further. Right now, we're in the process of going towards that. We can't wait for the World Cup draw to, to be announced. And then, you know, we're going to look at each game as one we want to try and win.